morning, friends. It's Carrie from down in Texas. How are you on this wacky, wonderful Wednesday? Alrighty, today, what are we talking about with Kamala Harris? Has to be the economy. We talked about that yesterday. So today, we're going to talk about the border. I'm in Texas. I see what's going on in the border. Our governor is proactive. I wish I could say that about our leadership in Washington. They are not proactive in that they're trying to help protect Americans. They are proactive in letting anybody and everybody walk across that border, irregardless of whether they're a good person, whether they're released from a mental institution, whether they're a terrorist, or whether they're a murderer. They don't care. They don't care. They are tr trying to turn this country into a socialist Marxist country. They are trying to convert a republic. That's what they're trying to do, people. Please wake up and smell the coffee. There's been over, now the, now the number is approaching, according to them, their number is approaching 15 million. I think it's way more than that. As somebody that came to this country from Australia, my entire family has come here. We have done this legally. We are now here, we've been here since 1968. We did it legally and it makes me so angry that people are allowed to just waltz in here and then you and me, you and me, we end up paying for all of it. Did you know that when they walk across the border, they're given a phone? Do you know the average phone costs $1,000? They're given a phone and they're taken care of. They're fed. They're housed. Has anybody given you money to pay for your food or pay for your roof over your head? All they had to do when they stole the election, and you know, let's just be real, all this bullshit about them not stealing the election, we know they stole the election. They know they stole the election. Everybody on this planet knows they stole the election in 2020. All they had to do when they took the office, when, when they stole the office, all they had to do was finish the border. But no, they couldn't do that for the American people. All they were concerned about and all they're still concerned about is destroying a man because they don't believe or they don't like his personality and they don't like his the way he operates. And you know why they don't like him? Because he knows who they are. He knows who they are. He is an outsider. He doesn't play along with their crap. He calls them on the carpet. He calls them exactly what they are. And the only reason they didn't finish the border for you and me to protect our land, to protect this country, is because they hate the man. That's the kind of leadership to sit in the White House right now. They're destroying us policy by policy. Here in Houston, there's been young children under the age of 12 murdered and raped violently from illegal immigrants. Just yesterday in New York, there was a brutal attack from an illegal immigrant that's been arrested three times, for Christ's sakes. He's been arrested three times and then he assaulted somebody else. But what can you expect from New York? I mean, after all, they're the ones that started this entire sham against Donald Trump. They must think the American people are stupid, but the problem is, is 43% of the American public is stupid. Sorry, but that's how I see it. Because you buy into this leftist crap Have you really read, do you really know what you're voting for? 
or do you just believe the crap that comes out of the national news media? Because uh, let me tell you, that is what it is. It is not journalism. It is not facts, fact, fact-based reporting. It is a propaganda machine that has been bought off to mislead you, the American people. The border, just keep it wide open. And every person that comes in here illegally goes to work illegally. And it takes a job from Americans who need to work. That's okay too. So let's see. They're given food, they're given room and board. They're given a phone. They're given free medical insurance because they can go to any county hospital and get medical insurance because the hospitals can't turn them away and they don't ask for proof of citizenship. So they get free medical and they come in and they take jobs and they come in and they kill Americans. Wow, now that's a great port border policy. Wow, Kamala, you have done a remarkable job Make no mistake, she was in charge. Whether you want to call her the czar or the czarina or whatever, she was in charge of the border. That is the one thing she was in charge of. Did she go to the border? No. She traveled all around saying she was trying to get to the root of the problem. The root of the problem, Chicky, is there's no border. If there's no border, people are going to come in. How stupid do you have to be? Safe borders mean a border, a border, a wall. Prevents you from coming in illegally. This is, I mean, first graders understand this. You have failed your job. You have failed the American people. And by God, you have failed those families of those innocent victims who are dead or suffering because some illegal walked across that border and you allowed it to happen. I'm sure there's terrorist cells here in the United States now. That's on you too. All you had to do was finish the border, but no, you couldn't do that because of your stupid hatred for another human being. He threatens you because he knows and he's got your number and he's trying to get rid of you that's why you act the way you do. You don't act to protect the American people. The man is not a tyrant. But that's the ideology that you are spitting and spewing all over the American people. Thank God over half of the Americans can now realize what a load of horse shit you're spreading. Sorry for the language. But this border issue is a huge failure, huge failure. And it sits right on top of Biden's and Harris's head. You stole the election, you wanted to be in charge and you have been in charge. And since you've been in charge, this is what's been happening. So guess what? You can spin it any way you want. It's still your responsibility. It's still your failure. And why should you be given another four years to continue your failed, pathetic border you shouldn't. You don't get another opportunity to screw up as badly as you have for the last four years. And I just pray the American people wake up and realize exactly where we're headed. Number three, the border crisis, the failed border policy from Kamala Harris. Keep her accountable. The way you do that is by not electing our president come November.